Hello everybody, what is going on? Jimmy here back with another video and I know I'm actually a little bit late on this so I apologize for that but I've just had so many great video ideas and different things happening that I had to talk about between SMT3, price and Discord buying Microsoft. There's been so much stuff to talk about every day and then between those days that there's a break I usually come up with something interesting that I want to talk about on the channel so I honestly never have time to talk about this and I've been wanting to talk about it for days now. Honestly, probably close to a week. So anyways, we have a look at what could possibly be the new Nintendo Switch Pro Joy-Con. This patent was actually made in 2018, but believe it or not, this month it actually got approved to be released and everything if they actually wanted to use it. So that's definitely something important to consider, especially if they're still planning on releasing that Nintendo Switch Pro like the leaks and the rumors suggest towards the end of either this year or the beginning of next year. If that's still on and that's still the way that they're going to do it, then these uh, rumors, I guess these aren't rumors, these are actual real patent photos. And we can look at them here, I will show them on the screen. So if you look at these pictures here, as you can see, there's definitely a different setup here. Um, there's two buttons instead of one, and this looks very Nintendo-ish, I'm not going to lie to you. It does, it looks like they have the same railing system. Hopefully this will fix Joy-Con Drift. I actually just talked about my video the other day about how if the Nintendo Switch Pro is $400, they better fix Drift. Obviously, $300 is nothing to scoff at. I'm not saying like, oh, for $300, you know, it doesn't matter if it works. But I'm saying for $400, you're getting it up there with the PS4 Pro. You're getting up there with the Xbox Series S plus $100 worth of games, excluding tax. You're getting there up with some consoles and some different things that are just much more powerful. So I think for $400, Joy-Con Drift definitely needs to be fixed. And this might be our first look at what and how Joy-Con Drift would get fixed. Who knows what kind of engineering is going on on the inside of these controllers that is doing all this. We have no idea. All we know is that these are real photos. These are actual image credits from Nintendo. Like I said, they've been working with these since 2018. So a year after the Joy-Cons came out, they knew they were faulty. They knew they weren't good products. They knew all this stuff. And a year after they came out, they're already working on how they can actually fix it because they know that it's kind of a mess. If they're losing money every single time somebody needs to return it. They're just, you know, they're losing money all around with the Joy-Cons, but they're not losing as much as I think they'd need to be for them to actually replace the actual regular Switch. And that's why they're going to try to do some Joy-Con special upgrade type stuff with the Switch Pro. And if the rumors are true that NVIDIA is going to quit making the chipset for the Nintendo Switch right now, whatever downclock chipset we get for the base Nintendo Switch, because there's no way they're going to have a, like just one Switch and it's just a Switch Pro for 400 bucks. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. Whatever version that might be may get these Joy-Con as well. We don't know. That's why I named this video, Is This Our First Look at the Nintendo Switch Pro Joy-Cons? Because, like I said, I have no idea. It might not be. It might be. All I know is I wanted to share this with you all because I think it's very interesting. And I hope that you all enjoyed my little analysis of this now. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to drop me a like, comment, maybe even subscribing to the YouTube channel if you do enjoy this type of content. We will have more content like this out. Thank you for watching. Jimmy out of here.